Road Specialist. Today, I want to share an experience and provide a medical explanation about one of the most common conditions I encounter in my practice, fungal earwax, or what we call otomicosis. Many patients come to me complaining of intense itching in the ear, earwax that changes color to grayish white or even black, and sometimes an unpleasant odor. Most of them think it's just a simple hygiene issue, but in fact, it can be a sign of a fungal infection inside the ear. In this video, I'll explain what really happens when fungus starts to grow in the ear, the main causes behind it, and how to properly prevent and treat it. So, make sure to watch this explanation until the end. Let's keep your ears healthy and protected from fungal infections that can interfere with your hearing. Asterisk, asterisk, earwax, or what is medically known as cerumen, actually plays an important role in maintaining ear health. Saruman is produced by specialized glands in the outer ear canal and serves as a natural protective barrier against dust, K, water, and microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. Under normal conditions, earwax is golden yellow or brown, slightly moist, and will naturally move outward without the need for aggressive cleaning. However, in some individuals, Saruman can change in texture and color, so may even become an ideal environment for fungi to grow. This condition is known as fungal earwax, or in medical terms, otomicosis. Otomicosis is a fungal infection of the external ear canal caused by microorganisms such as Aspergillus niger, Aspergillus fumigatus, or Candida albicans. These fungi are actually widespread in the environment, in the air, soil, and water. However, when the condition inside the ear becomes too moist and the natural defense mechanisms are disrupted, Fungi begin to grow and form colonies. The infection is often characterized by earwax that turns grayish white, black, or greenish. In addition, patients usually experience intense itching, a sensation of fullness in the ear, an unpleasant odor, and sometimes temporary hearing loss. The most common factor causing fungal earwax is excessive moisture. The ear canal is a naturally narrow and humid cavity, but if it is frequently exposed to water, for instance, due to swimming, long showers, or using certain ear cleaning liquids, the moisture level increases. This warm and damp environment is ideal for fungal growth. For this reason, otomicosis is often referred to as swimmer's ear. Another major cause is overcleaning the ears. Many people believe that cleaning their ears daily is a sign of good hygiene, but in fact, it can do more harm than good. Cerumen contains antimicrobial substances that protect the ear canal from infections. When earwax is removed excessively using cotton buds or metal tools, the natural protective oils are stripped away, leaving the skin dry and prone to micro injuries. These small wounds become entry points for fungal spores from the environment. Within days, the fungus can begin to grow in these damaged areas, leading to infection. Another contributing habit is the use of unclean ear devices, such as earphones, headsets, or hearing aids. The surfaces of these devices can harbor fungal spores if not properly cleaned. When used for long periods, the temperature inside the ear rises, creating the perfect humidity for fungal growth. Therefore, it is highly recommended to clean earphones regularly and avoid sharing them with others' environmental factors. Also play a significant role. Tropical countries like Indonesia have high humidity and warm temperatures, which accelerate the spread of fungal spores in the air. People living in coastal regions or those who sweat frequently are more prone to automycosis. The long-term use of antibiotic ear drops without medical supervision can also increase the risk. While antibiotics kill harmful bacteria, they also eliminate beneficial bacteria that normally protect the ear canal. When these good bacteria are gone, fungi can grow freely, especially if the ear remains moist, in addition to environmental influences. The body's immune system is a key factor. Individuals with weakened immunity, such as those with diabetes, HIV, AIDS, or undergoing chemotherapy, are more susceptible to fungal infections. A weakened immune defense means that the skin in the ear canal cannot effectively resist fungal growth. Even under mildly humid conditions, the mechanism of infection begins when fungal spores adhere to the moist or injured skin of the ear canal. These spores then develop into fine white or black filaments that form colonies. The fungal colonies gradually cover part of the ear canal, appearing externally as clumps of moist, cotton-like material or black crusts. The body responds with mild inflammation, causing itching, pain, and sometimes discharge. If left untreated, the fungus can damage the ear canal.
pale skin and lead to chronic inflammation. Fungal earwax. It differs significantly from normal earwax. Normal cerumen is golden yellow or brown, sticky or dry in texture, odorless, and does not cause itching. In contrast, fungal earwax appears grayish-white, black, or greenish, looks clumped like moist cotton, has a musty smell, and causes intense itching, along with a sensation of blockage, certain, seemingly harmless. Habits can worsen the risk of otomicosis, such as sleeping with wet hair, pouring herbal oils or other liquids into the ear without medical advice, inserting sharp objects into the ear, or wearing helmets or earphones for long periods without cleaning them. All these activities create a warm, humid environment that fungi thrive in. To prevent fungal earwax, the key is to keep the ears dry. After swimming or showering, dry the outer ear with a soft towel. Avoid using cotton buds, as they tend to push water and wax deeper inside. Do not clean the ears too often. Allow cerumen to come out naturally. If you feel blockage or persistent itching, see an ent specialist for professional cleaning. Regularly disinfect hearing aids and earphones with alcohol wipes for frequent swimmers. Doctors may prescribe drying eardrops or mild acetic acid solutions to maintain the ear's pH. Balance and prevent fungal growth. Maintaining a strong immune system through proper nutrition and managing chronic diseases is also crucial. If a fungal infection has already developed, okay, treatment must be done by an end specialist. The first step is ear canal cleaning oral toilet using suction equipment and a microscope. Once the fungal colonies are removed, the doctor will prescribe antifungal ear drops such as clotrimazole or meconazole. If inflammation or severe itching occurs, mild corticosteroid drops may be added. Patients are usually advised to return for a follow-up visit after several days to ensure the fungus does not regrow. It's very important not to use random eardrops, as some antibiotic solutions can actually worsen fungal infections if left untreated. Fungal earwax can lead to complications such as chronic otitis, external, long-term ear canal inflammation, hardening and narrowing of the ear canal, and temporary hearing loss. In rare cases, if the eardrum is perforated, the fungus may spread to the middle ear, causing more serious infections. In conclusion, fungal earwax is a sign that the ear's natural balance has been disrupted. Excess moisture, improper ear cleaning habits, unclean ear devices, and weakened immunity are the main culprits. Keeping the ear dry, avoiding overcleaning, and maintaining the hygiene of ear-related tools are the best preventive measures. If your ear feels itchy, full, or the earwax changes color to white or black, like damp cotton. Consult an ent doctor immediately. Early diagnosis and proper treatment will help prevent complications 